thing about these markers is that, see how I've got the yellow on the inside here? If I go over it with the blue, it actually will turn it green. See, I end up with a green. So you can mix your colors with these, these markers to blend it and end up with other colors. If you know your color chart, yellow and blue make green. So you can play around with that. Okay, at this point, I've got it colored on both sides. And I want to show you what, what I did is I put a layer of gel, an extremely thin layer of gel on this side. And you can see it's very shiny compared to this side. It also makes the colors kind of pop. So um, Erlene Moore is the one that originally did this. I believe she, um, I mean, years and years ago. Um, I've never put gel on my uh, butterflies, but when she did it, I, it really does make a difference. So um, if you prefer the matte, that's fine. But um, if you're gonna do the gel, you definitely want an angled small spatula like this because you wanna get it as thin as possible. Because again, the rice paper will absorb the moisture and it does curl a little bit. So what I did is I just put a little tiny bit on there and extremely, I mean, we're talking scrape it off. Now, you want to make sure that your uh, pens have dried at least for a day. Otherwise, you're going to smear the food color markers. Okay, you'll smear the color. So you really want to have that color dry. Then, if you so desire, I have a little bit of the rainbow sparkle glitter just because you can never have too much glitter and so you can sprinkle that on they also will sprinkle uh, you know a little bit of sugar just granulated sugar on there to give it a little bit on the front um, you, know, you can sprinkle anything on there you want nothing too heavy okay at this point I'm gonna go ahead we want to let this sit for a couple hours and so I'm gonna go ahead and make my mold because I want to get to the point where I'm going to cut this butterfly out and I'm going to um, make its body. So here's my piece of foil and all I did was just fold it in half like so and it really doesn't matter what size it is just fold it up with a crease okay and this these sides are kind of tall so I'll just fold them again that's what I did I'll fold them back because the sides were a little tall, I don't need them that tall for that butterfly. So we'll just do it like this. Okay. So end up with a nice firm mold. Okay. For my butterfly. And I like the foil because it kind of holds its shape. I'm going to use, I just have a flower former here. I can actually set it in. And this just makes it just so convenient for me. If you're worried about sticking, you can put just a tiny bit of shortening down here, just a little bit down the center if you're worried about the icing sticking to, uh, body sticking to the foil, but I've never had a problem with it, so. Okay, the other thing I have here, of course, is this is a, just a black flower stamen. Oops, it's sticking to my hand. And I just folded it in half. This is gonna be his antennae. Once this dries, we wanna cut it out. And you really need a pair of fine scissors to cut it out. You can use bigger scissors, but it's much easier with the fine scissors. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and cut this out. The rice paper should cut fairly easily, especially once you've gelled it, because it seems to soften it up a little bit. Okay, and you just want to cut it out like so. Try and get all the white off. You're actually going to cut it out like it's one piece. 